the history is coming. The fight which we expected through all the years. Juwanta Davis versus Ryan Garcia. An undefeated versus undefeated. The news about that fight appeared in the middle of November. But this fight is set for 15 of April 2023. And right before that, Juwanta Davis will face Hector Garcia. 7 of January. Also, the non defeated fighter, Juwanta Davis, will defend his lightweight title. Despite that, Hector is a super featherweight champion of the same league. WBA. Ryan said that he wants to fight as well before the meeting of Juwanta Davis, who wants to fight at the same event. And the most curious thing that the contract is already signed, and this fight will happen 15 of April in Las Vegas. Doesn't matter, win or lose. In 2015, Floyd Mayweather decided to finish a career with a record of 49 wins and no losses. He wanted to say stop after the fight with Oscar De La Hoya, but decided to compete for the further rematch. But in 2015, he said stop after the record of 49 wins and no losses and started to make a promotion for the young generation. When Conor McGregor became a champion of two different weight classes in the UFC, the fighters decided to make a boxing super fight, which became the second pay-per-view event in the boxing history. The young Juwanta Davis had the opportunity to fight in the co-main event for the IBF Super Featherweight title. The problem has started right from the beginning. He already was a champion in the fight with Jose Pradeza, but for that fight, he failed the weight ends and the title fight was only for Francisco. That was a 12-round fight, but already from the first round, we saw the difference of classes. Juwanta Davis, a K Tung, is a combination of small Mike Tyson, Arturo Gatti, and Floyd Mayweather. He left no chances for his opponent and knocked him out in the eighth round. Three years later, Ryan Garcia faced the same opponent but already in the lightweight, but he defeated him only for the one round. Because of his speed, Ryan Garcia became the new desire in the boxing, the fastest hands in the world. But everybody knows that the fast hands only are not enough for the boxing. Also, you need to have a tactic. Of course, we saw a lot of fights where Ryan Garcia knocked out his opponents by one-sided beating. But in 2020, he faced Emmanuel Tago. Tago is a more experienced fighter, and he found out that if the fighter against Garcia is moving permanently, Garcia can't aim properly, and his fast hands are not working. Also, he changed the tactic by stepping away and closing the distance. Exactly what loves to do to Wanda Davis. But Tago got tired and was knocked down in the second round. Garcia found out how to press him to the ropes and took that fight by unanimous decision. The fast hands can be a very big problem for Juwanta Davis because in his last fight, he faced Rolly Romero. This is the fighter who also has a huge speed of his hands. 
and who was stylistically uncomfortable opponent for Davis. As it was mentioned before, Davis uses the same tactic as Floyd Mayweather when he is avoiding the damage and when his opponent is slowing down, he attacks. For example, Oscar made a lot of troubles for Floyd Mayweather and Floyd won that fight only by split decision. Here is the same thing in that fight and Raleigh could really take that fight. Despite that, Davis answered pretty good and always clinched the opponent by breaking the rhythm and the only one mistake and Raleigh was knocked out in the sixth round. Um, I knew that it was all about uh, selling the fight. Uh, Currently, both fighters have the belt. Ryan Garcia holds a champion's belt of WBC interim version, but he was stripped of it because of the health problems. Because he should always make a protection and Juwanta Davis is a regular champion of the WBA in the lightweight. But currently, the boxing world has another one boxing person who holds all main belts simultaneously. Currently, he is a super WBA champion and a non-disputed champion as well, David Haney. The history of those belts are very dramatic. First of all, Vasily Lomachenko had two belts and lost the fight to Tefimo Lopez. It was a loud upset and Lopez became a unified champion who became a three belt holder. But suddenly, he lost the fight to George Gambosas, an Australian fighter who became a sensation and became the unified champion and defeated Tefimo Lopez. And in the fight for the undisputed championship, he lost the fight by unanimous decision to Damien Haney who was a WBC champion in 2022 and lost again to the same fighter according to the necessary rematch, according to the contract. And now, there is a very interesting square in the lightweight when Darren Haney called out Vasily right after his fight. The part of calling out. In the ring, I'll show you. Okay, okay. I I will be, I will be ready. Bastion Trick can be disappeared after the loss of one of them. The deal is officially signed, but Juwanta Davis will fight 7th of January with another one Garcia, Hector. This fighter also was a WBA Super featherweight champion. This fighter has a record of 16 wins and he's also a non-defeated. We didn't say the loud state in his career, but he's a dark horse in that fight. In the fight with Roto Gutierrez, he showed his aggression when he's not scared to go forward. Technically, he's fighting like Rolly Romero. He almost defeated Juwanta Davis, but there will be 12 rounds and Garcia will have no chance for the mistake. He loves to go with the open hat, the real present for Juwanta Davis. With the fighters who are somewhere around the top, he had the endings by unanimous decisions. Juwanta is a knockouter, so that Juwanta will be favorite. But Ryan said that he also wants to fight at the same event, and nobody knows who will have as an opponent because George Camposes was a walkthrough fighter for Teofimo Lopez as well. And everybody thought that he would lose. But Camposes made an upset. Your young career against Romero Duno, somehow he were able to top that tonight. I'm, turn I'm turned up, I'm turned up, let's go. If he's a champ, I'm a champ, right? I'm the champ. Ryan Garcia? I just seen him. Really? Here? I just seen him. What'd you tell him? Club. 
Why'd you do my boy Leo like that? <laughs>